Rise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you this morning. And the fact that the light has come means you no longer have to sit in darkness. We just want to give God praise and we want to give him glory this morning. Top of the morning to you, wherever you are. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, wherever you are around the world uh, this morning, how excellent is our God in all the earth. Let the earth rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, indeed, he is worthy to be praised, worthy uh, to be exalted, worthy to be lifted up, worthy to be magnified. He is, uh, Lord of God, the awesome God. He is the almighty God. He is the God who is more than enough. And this morning, uh, we come to give him praise. This morning, we come uh, to give him glory. This morning, we come with a heart of gratitude, with a heart of thanksgiving uh, this morning. Yes, thanking him for yet this another day. Uh, thanking him that we found ourselves amongst the living on top of our graves. Thanking him, uh, yes, for choosing us to be a part of his plan for today. Uh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I know that it's nothing good that I have done. It's all because of his grace and it's all because of his mercy. It is all because of his loving kindness towards me this morning. Uh, glory to guys so again i trust that you're up and thankful this morning embracing today in all its fullness for it's fully loaded with benefits for you yep uh your uh yesterday your tomorrow has now become your today uh glory to god your yesterday is now history uh glory to god there's nothing that you can do uh glory to god to change what happened yesterday but guess what uh you have the ability to do uh something that can make today a difference uh glory to god so i trust that you have a mindset to do just that before we continue i just want to pray a little bit of this song as you know we like to worship the lord uh glory to god yes because he deserves all our praise again at uh, top of the morning to each and every one of you good morning jamaica good morning lagos uh all across the caribbean canada england wherever you are this morning grace mercy and peace be unto you nothing lacking nothing broken uh good morning uh minister gordon good morning woman of god uh keep a lock i want to play this because i know that my god is worthy he's worthy to be praised worthy to be exalted worthy to be magnified indeed worthy is the lamb this morning uh glory to god hallelujah we bless on him this morning uh we bless the lord this morning uh we come to worship him this morning glory to god Thank on this uh, yes, 28th day in the month of October. I am thanking him for the Thank cross this morning. Uh, yes, I am so grateful for the price that he paid. Yes, took on all my sin and my shame. Yeah. Uh, yes, in love he came. Uh, glory to God and gave an amazing grace. Thank you for the... Uh, yes, I give him thanks this morning. Thank you for the Ah uh, yes, his nail pierced hands. It should have been us. Ah uh, yes, wash me in your cleansing blood, Lord. Now all I know, your forgiveness. Yes, in grace. Come on, somebody. Worthy is the Lamb. this morning come you now with uh, yes you reign Victoria he reigns it this morning he is high and lifted up Jesus uh, uh, he's worthy to be exalted yes uh, yes Crucified. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm giving him praise this morning. Worthy is. He is so worthy this morning. 
He is worthy to be exalted, worthy to be magnified, worthy uh, to be glorified this morning. Yes, he's worthy of our praise uh, this morning. I am grateful this morning for the cross. Yes, I am thanking him this morning. Uh, glory to God. Yes, for the price that he paid. Uh, glory to God. Yes, he took on all my sin and my shame. Ah, glory to God. In love he came. Ah, yes, what a, an amazing grace this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless the Lord this morning. Oh, we just want to give him thanks this morning. Yes, I thank him this morning that he uh, was my substitute this morning, God. Wash me in your cleansing blood this morning. The blood of uh, glory to God that never loses power, the blood of Jesus uh, uh, that reaches to the highest mountain and flows uh, to the lowest valley. Worthy is Yeshua this morning. Worthy is the anointed one this morning. Worthy is Adonai this morning. Glory to God. Yes, our reigning king this morning is seated on the throne. Oh, glory to God. We crown you now with our praise, almighty God. Yes, you reign victorious. You are victorious. Uh, glory to God. You are high and lifted up this morning. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God this morning. Hallelujah to the all-powerful God this morning. Hallelujah to the Son of God this morning. Hallelujah. How great is our God this morning. You are the darling of heaven. Uh, glory to God. Crucified. Uh, glory to God this morning. You are so worthy uh, to be praised this morning. He is worthy uh, to be exalted this morning. He's worthy uh, to be magnified this morning. He is worthy uh, to be glorified this morning. Hallelujah. We bless on him this morning. Glory to God. We bow our hearts, oh glory to God. And we say you are worthy of a father. Worthy uh, to be praised. Worthy to be exalted. Worthy uh, to be magnified. Worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. Oh, we sing and we lift our voice and we say you are worthy this morning of our praise this morning. You are seated on the throne this morning. You are alive and well this morning. And we come uh, this morning to show back here we come at uh, this morning to exalt you we come this morning uh, to magnify you lord god you reign victorious this morning hallelujah be high and lifted up uh, this morning oh glory to god yes you are the son of god this morning and we crown you uh, this morning uh, the darling of heaven crucified uh, this morning hallelujah oh we bless him this morning uh, yes you are worthy this morning uh, worthy to be exalted worthy to be praised worthy uh, to be lifted up this morning worthy uh, to be magnified this morning oh we give you thanks this morning uh, glory to God yes lift your voice with me uh, glory to God let's give God some praise this morning uh, lift your voice wherever you are this morning and worship our King this morning uh, lift your voice this morning and let him know how much you are grateful how much you appreciate him uh glory to god this morning hallelujah uh we bless the name of the lord this morning yes we magnify you abba father and we glorify you this morning we come to give you praise and we come to give you worship uh glory to god we come with a heart of gratitude oh mighty god because you are a good god you are the sovereign god you are the eternal god there is none like you no one uh, could compare themselves to you all great and greatly to be praised this morning that everything that has breath praise the lord this morning oh mighty god we thank you this morning that you are our strength uh glory to god strength like no other this morning we thank you this morning that you're a shield and you're a hiding place this morning we thank you this morning that you are a true vine this morning oh glory to god we thank you uh, this morning that you are the source of our strength you are a shield and our hiding place uh, glory to God this morning. You are a good shepherd. Uh, you are the door. You are the way, the truth, and the life this morning. And we come this morning to Shabbat you. We come uh, this morning to glorify you. We come uh, this morning to give you praise and to give you glory and to give you honor this morning. Uh, there is none like you. No one uh, could compare themselves to you this morning. You are a God all by yourself, almighty God, this morning. You are all powerful. You are ever present. You are abiding, almighty God. You are everywhere in everything you sustain all things 
Uh, glory to God this morning. Uh, we come to give you praise. Uh, you are the God who is seated far above the heavens. Uh, you stretched out everything, my God, and you put everything in place. Uh, uh, this morning, we thank you, uh, glory to God, that you told the sun where to stand and the moon, where to hide, my God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the winds and the waves obey you, uh, uh, glory to God. So we give you thanks this morning. We thank you this morning, mighty God. Uh, yes, that you woke us up this morning. Uh, we thank you this morning. You clothed us uh, in our right minds. Oh, glory to God. We thank you this morning. Uh, yes, for the breath in our lungs. Uh, glory to God this morning. We thank you that we have the ability uh, to lift our hands. Uh, glory to God. We thank you that we're in good health. Uh, in the name of we thank you this morning. Uh, glory to God for your love and kindness. We thank you uh, this morning for your tender mercy. We thank you for your grace and your mercy towards us uh, this morning. We are so grateful, uh, glory to God, this morning that you included us in your today. Uh, mighty God, yes, it's not the alarm clock that woke us up this morning, but it's you, almighty God. Uh, yes, almighty God, and therefore all our hallelujah belongs unto you. We just want to let you know how much we appreciate you. Uh, we want to let you know how much we love you. Uh, glory to God, yes, we want to let you know how awesome you are. You are excellent. Uh, glory to God, excellent Jesus. You're excellent. Uh, you're excellent in all the earth, almighty God, this morning. I refuse to let a rock praise you in my place. Almighty God, I come to praise you for when I think about your goodness, when I think about your grace, when I think about your loving kindness, oh good God Almighty, when I roll back the curtains of memories now and then, and when I look and I see where you brought me from and where I could have been truly this morning, I can say if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Uh, glory to God, where would you be? If he didn't love you, where would you be? If he didn't care for you, where would you be this morning if he didn't sacrifice his life for you. I am so glad uh, that you did this morning. I thank you for the cross. Uh, glory to God, when you said it was finished, my God, everything was finished. That includes my healing. That includes my deliverance. That includes our breakthrough. My God, I thank you uh, this morning, Lord, for every drop of blood. Uh, yes, I left your body. Uh, God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Uh, glory to God, that when you were on the cross, though I wasn't there, I was still on your mind. Uh, glory to God, I thank you this morning that you became my substitute. I thank you that you became my sin bearer. My God, I am living proof of what the mercy of God can do. Uh, glory to God this morning. We should have been the one on that cross. We should be the one in the grave, but you took our place. And for that, I am grateful. Almighty oh, God, this morning, I come with a heart of gratitude and I come with a heart of thanksgiving. I thank you, mighty God, uh, this morning that I can stand and have another all to stand in your righteousness, my God, not in my righteousness, because my righteousness is filthy rags. But this morning, I thank you, Lord, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, my God. Uh, yes, Lord, I thank you, Almighty God, for your peace. I thank you for your joy. I thank you that you're the one who is restored and that you are the lifter up of our head, Almighty God. This morning, I thank you, Almighty God, because of the cross. I can say, Almighty God, there's no condemnation, my God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Uh, there's no guilt in the name of Jesus. I give you thanks, my God, for freedom. Uh, mighty God, yes, I thank you that you were our yoke destroyer, our burden bearer, my God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you're the one who redeemed us. Uh, glory to God, I thank you this morning that you are our potter, my God. And as we come on this yet another day, uh, as we come to the altar of the Lord, uh, glory to God, yes, we are living sacrifices. So therefore, we have to make a daily decision, uh, God, whether or not we're going to serve you. Uh, so this morning, oh my God, I pray uh, that you'll search the depths of our hearts. Uh, you are the only one that knows uh, the wicked intent of the heart and still love us the same. But I pray this morning, Lord, as we place ourselves on the altar, as we crawl and lay out there, uh, glory to God, you are the consuming fire. You be the fire and we are the sacrifice. I pray that you'll kill our flesh burn our desires, consume everything in us that's not of you. Ah, glory to God, we want 
to say, like Jesus said, the devil is coming, the adversary is coming, and there's nothing in us that belongs to him. Uh, glory to God, this one, so burn out all impurity, secret sin, and carnal weakness as we surrender our lives to you today, as we dethrone ourselves, as uh, we pull ourselves out of the way, and we say on this day, uh, that which you purpose, God, uh, the reason why we're alive today, the reason why you purposed us uh, to be in the living today, let that be done, let your will be done that the end of the day God truly uh, you'll be glorified in our vessels in the name of Jesus so we thank you this morning uh, for the blood of Jesus we thank you this morning that we're blood washed we thank you this morning that we're redeemed we thank you this morning that we're cleansed from all unrighteousness secrets and carnal weakness uh, glory to God I thank you this morning uh, glory to God yes uh, glory to God we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor today Father God in the name of Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit Lord Lord, uh, we thank you, almighty God, for intervening. We ask you even now uh, to intervene in the affairs of humanity. My God, we ask you even now, God, we give you the license and the permission, my God, to intervene. Ah, uh, yes, in our government, in our school system, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God, we ask you even now to do it, Lord. Uh, Father God, this one we pray uh, uh, this morning to you, Lord God, the harvest. Uh, uh, we pray for souls, uh, mighty God, the soul of our family member, the soul of our nation, truly uh, this morning, mighty God, the harvest uh, I feel is swelling, it's bursting at its seam. Uh, mighty God, truly the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few this morning. But my God, we are praying, uh, glory to God, to you, Lord God, the harvest to send forth laborers. Uh, mighty God, this morning, those who will work while it's still day for the night is fast approaching. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that you'll release an anointing, my God, to evangelize, release an anointing to, uh, yes, reach out to the lost and dying in the name of Jesus. Father God, this morning, I bring everybody before you that knows me, that's not saved. I bring my family member, my neighbors, my God, my co-workers. Uh, Father God, I put them before you this morning, and I pray, mighty God, Spirit of the Lord, uh, your word declares, no man cometh unto you, uh, and let the Spirit draws them, but I pray this morning that your Spirit will draw them in the name of Jesus, that you'll walk alongside uh, every unbeliever, my God, and convict them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, mighty God, that that which the enemy has put in their path, uh, that will allow them, oh mighty God, and barricade them, that they will not respond. I pray that we will move it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God. I thank you this morning, Lord, for every part of those son. I thank you, Lord God, that somebody this morning, I will meet you on their road to Damascus. I don't know where it is, God, but they will meet you there in the name of, they will encounter you there. And I know my God, anybody who encounters a sovereign and living God shall never be the same. Almighty God, somebody this morning, uh, God, it needs you to walk through their Samaria. My God, somebody is waiting at the well, uh, uh, God, the well of addiction, the well of pornography, at uh, the well of drugs, whatever that well is. They continue to go there. But this morning, my God, when they get there, they will meet you in the name of Jesus. I thank you this morning that you are the thirst quencher in the name of Jesus. My God, I pray today and that you'll come and quench the thirsty soul of that drug dealer, the thirsty soul of that, uh, yeah, that prostitute, my God, the thirsty soul of that liar and that stealer in the name. I thank you, mighty God, for your saving grace. I thank you, Lord, and that you're destroying every yoke in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, to the Lamb of God. I thank you this morning, Lord. I lift to almighty God, our nation's youth uh, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray uh, this morning, Lord, for every gang leader, my God, in the name of Jesus. I uh, pray this morning, Lord. Uh, yes, for those who are planning, uh, yes, their next plot. Uh, I pray this morning, Jehovah God, uh, that you'll put them to sleep, Lord, uh, that you'll intercept their evil deeds. Uh, in the name of Jesus, my God, uh, I pray that you'll do a surgery on the hearts of your people this morning. Oh, mighty God, loveless society. In the name of Jesus, my God, I uh, pray this morning, Lord, uh, that you'll put them in a deep sleep. Uh, 
almighty God, and you'll perform the surgery like no other. You are the greatest heart surgeon I know of. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, my God, that you will take out that heart of bitterness, that heart of anger, that heart of vengeance, almighty God, in your place, a heart of flesh, my God, with your laws and your instructions in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning. I thank you. Oh, mighty God, can our nation's children be saved? Yes, they can. Can they be delivered? Yes, they can. For we know that there's nothing that is too hard uh, for you to do. You're the God in the impossibility. I thank you this morning, my God, for the revival in our city. In the name of Jesus, I thank you this morning. Uh, yes, for revival in our prison institution. I've got our young people's facility. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning, I give you thanks and I give you praise. I thank you this morning that the church is alive and well this morning. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, uh, to the Lamb of God. Uh, so I give you praise. I thank you this morning, mighty God. God, that the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is being advanced this morning. Uh, glory to God, as we pray to you, uh, you are the I am that I am. So we approach you this morning as you are the healing God. Uh, glory to God, you're the God who heals and delivers. Almighty God, in the name you said, is there not a cause? Uh, yes, you are the bomb in Gilead. Almighty God, I lift up this morning at uh, the sick and the afflicted. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we know uh, that sickness is not of you because you became sick that we might be well. Uh, we remind you this morning of your word. Uh, you said you sent your word to heal, not some disease, but every disease. Almighty uh, God, so many diseases. I uh, got so many names. Some of them we can't even pronounce. But Father God, we declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We walk in divine healing. Uh, Lord God, we thank you this morning. Uh, yes, for burning out cancer. We thank you this morning for regulating the heart. We thank you this morning, mighty God, for removing cataracts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, right God Almighty, right now. Uh, Lord of God, blood clots are shrinking and disappearing in the name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, uh, mighty God, that persons are coming off ventilation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We lift our faith this morning. Uh, yes, we thank you this morning. Uh, Lord God, for healing and delivering those, uh, God, who are schizophrenic, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning for lifting up burden. Uh, God, yes, in the name of Jesus. We thank you uh, this morning for doing it, Lord. Uh, Lord to God, we thank you even for healing our children. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for even emotional healing, psychological healing. Oh, good God Almighty, we thank you for healing the land of Canada. We thank you for healing the land in Jamaica, all across the Caribbean. Oh, God, the nations, my God, in the name of Jesus. Heal our land, oh, glory to God. Heal our waters, oh, mighty God. Uh, this morning, Father God, I pray, uh, uh, God, for families this morning. In the name of Jesus, my God, this morning, we know that families are important, uh, and the devil knows it as well. Uh, but, Father God, I pray this morning for families. I pray for love. I pray that communication will return to the home. I pray for respect. Uh, I come against family rivalry in the name of Jesus, my God. I come against bitterness, uh, my God, in the month and the Father, oh God, unite together. I'm going to come against sibling rivalry in the, even in my own family. In the name of Jesus, my God, this morning, I pray that death will not be what brings family together. In the name of hallelujah to the Lamb of God, uh, this morning I pray that you'll protect the family. i journey with them. In the name, fire every trap of the adversary. In the name of Jesus, I come against, oh glory to God, every satanic base that the enemy used against families this morning. I call on fire like Elijah to consume it in the name of Jesus. We come against every tracking device, against our family, against our finance, everything that will come to try to disturb our peace. We disturb it with the authority and the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you this morning. Heal the family, my God, and our nation shall be healed in the name of Jesus. This one I pray uh, for the family, the body of Christ. In the, we are one big family, a global family, my God. Uh, yes, Lord, though unique, uh, mighty God, one body, one spirit, one baptism. Oh, mighty God, hallelujah. I pray uh, for unity. I pray, mighty God, respect and love. 
I pray this morning that we will learn to forgive. Almighty God, instead of reacting, we will act this morning in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning for every pastor that I know. Uh, glory to God. I lift them up before you this morning. I pray that you'll keep them, Lord. I pray that you'll strengthen them, Lord. I pray that you'll bless them, my God. I pray that the work of their hands shall be fruitful and bring you glory in the name of Jesus, my God. If there's any sick, Almighty oh, God, I pray healing in the name of Jesus, my God. I pray for those leaders who are discouraged. I pray this morning that they will encourage themselves in the word as David said, why are thou cast down, O oh, my soul? Hope thou in God. Uh, yes, I pray this morning for every leader that's backslidden in their heart this morning. Roll back at the curtains of memories now and then. I uh, show them where you brought them from and where they could have been. Oh, mighty God, this morning, I thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God, as we go down into Lodi Bar, as some of them are there, as some of them are on their way back to Egypt. But my God, I pray that you'll intercept them, Lord. Uh, glory to God, yes, because Egypt is not uh, their destination, my God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because your word declares, woe be unto them who return to Egypt for help. Oh, mighty God, this morning. So I thank you, Lord, for every prodigal son. I thank you for the Gomars this morning. I give you thanks and I give you praise and I give you glory this morning. Oh, mighty God, this morning. I pray for every level of government, kings, queens, prime minister, governor general, in the name of Jesus, my God. There's no government that's in place that you do not know about. I thank you that you know and you have the heart of every man in your hands. We pray for the government of Canada. We pray for the government of the United States, across the Caribbean, across the nation. My God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we know that there's some corrupt leaders. Uh, glory to God, we know uh, there's some government, almighty God, who does evil against their own citizens. But Father God, I pray this morning that you'll intervene. Almighty God, that there'll be a shaking and that there'll be a weeding out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning. I give you thanks and I give you praise and I give you glory this morning. Almighty God, this morning, do it, Lord, uh, for your glory. Uh, mighty God, do it, almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This morning, I pray for every missionary, uh, Lord, that's out there. Uh, Lord, that some of them are in worn torn countries. I pray, my God, that you'll give them the wisdom uh, to know when to move from when not to move. I pray that you'll cover them, I decree and I declare that no sickness, my God, shall become nigh them. Uh, Lord, that no evil shall befall them today. Uh, cover them and protect them, I pray this morning, for every widow and every orphan, my God, this morning. I thank you that your word declares that you'll be a father to the fatherless. Uh, Lord, God, I pray for those who are caring for these children. May they do with clean hands and a pure heart and a right motive. Father God, if there be abuse, Almighty God, deliver them from under the hands of the evil workers in the name of Jesus. So we give you praise this morning and we give you glory this morning and we give you honor this morning, my God. I give you thanks this morning. Uh, for doing it, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Bow back every force of darkness, cripple and paralyze every plan of the adversary this morning. Uh, glory to God. Yes, we decree and we declare uh, that today will be a successful day. Uh, today will be a victorious day. Uh, today that we are more than conquerors above only not beneath blessed and can never be cursed this morning. Uh, that we are favored by the sovereign God. Uh, so we come this morning uh, and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God this morning. Uh, glory to God this morning. We give you thanks and we give you praise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God this morning. Uh, yes, he is worthy this morning. He is worthy to be exalted this morning. He's worthy to be Thank praised you. this morning. Oh, I give you thanks this morning. Thank you for answering this morning. Father God, thank you this morning that we will not fall prey to the enemy this morning. Thank you this morning that we are led by the Spirit of the Lord. Lead and guide us this morning and to direct us into all truth this morning. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord this morning. Ah, uh, yes, we are thanking you this morning. Ah, uh, we thank you this morning for the near pierced hands this morning. Ah, uh, yes. Now all. <clears throat> yes. He is worthy this morning. Ah, uh, yes, to be praised this morning. Worthy is the Lamb. 
seated on the throne. Ah, he's seated this morning. Ah, yes, we crowned you now with many crowns this morning. Ah, you reign victorious this morning. Oh, be high and lifted up this morning. Ah, yes. Ah, Jesus, you are indeed the Son of God this morning. Oh, we bless the Lord this morning. Ah, yes, he is worthy this morning. Uh, worthy is the Lamb this morning, and we give him praise this morning. Indeed, he's worthy to be praised, worthy to be exalted, worthy to be lifted up. Top of the morning to each and every one of you this morning. Uh, glory to God wherever you are around the world. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Uh, we bless on him this morning. It is a good thing to be alive. Glory to God. Uh, yes, in spite of the challenges, in spite of what we're going through, uh, glory to God, I'm trusting that you're grateful uh, that you are alive this morning, that God has been good to you, uh, glory to God, and we just come this morning to give him praise. Welcome to uh, Rising Time this morning on this Friday, uh, glory to God, as we uh, come to you with our daily devotion. We bless the name of the Lord. So, Lord, today I want to encourage us uh, for a little bit from out of the book of Acts, chapter 24 and verse 16. Uh, glory to God. Yeah. Out of the book of Acts chapter 24 and verse 16. I want to talk to us about our conscience this morning. Uh, we bless the, re the importance of keeping our conscience clear. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, the book of Acts from the New King James Version reads like this. Acts chapter 24 and verse 16. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and men. Uh, glory to God. The New Living Translation reads like this. I always try to maintain a clear conscience before God and all people. Uh, glory to God. Is that what you're trying to do? Is that your desire? Do you desire at all times uh, to keep your conscience clear? Uh, glory to God before God and all people. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. What I get to understand is this, that um, our conscience <laughs> was given after the fall, uh, glory to God, of mankind in the Garden of Eden. That's when our conscience was given to us, right? So in other words, our desire to know the difference between good and evil was granted through the mechanism God placed within us. We bless the name of the Lord, known to us as our conscience. So every man has a conscience. We bless the name of the Lord. Each and every one of us have a conscience. Glory to God. And because God placed this inside of us, we must not ignore its promptings. You understand? We must not try to silence the voice of our conscience or allow it to become callous. We bless the name of the Lord. And the reason why it's so important that we don't do that because it's a built-in warning system. Your conscience, our conscience is a built-in warning system that protects us from danger. Glory to God and harm. So that's why it's so important that we do not ignore it. Glory to God. It's so important that we do not try to silence it and we don't imp we don't allow it to become so callous that it becomes ineffective, ineffective. Sorry. Uh, glory to God. So that means, and I went ahead of myself, that means we shouldn't be troubled when our conscience bothers us. We shouldn't. We should be troubled when it doesn't. So when your conscience doesn't bother you, you should be worried, uh, glory to God. Because remember, when it bothers you, uh, glory to God, it's warning you of, of coming danger. It's warning you of harm. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. And I want to bring us to a few points of why it's so important to keep uh, glory to our conscience clear. Uh, glory to God. As the scripture says, this being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense 
Uh, glory to God. How do we do that? One, always pay attention to the inner nudging that makes you stop and question your decision. You know, sometimes we're about to make a decision and our conscience will prompt us about that decision. Pay attention. Don't ignore the prompting of your conscience. Stop and question, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right move? Glory to God. Because when we ignore our conscience, because remember, it's built in. God has given it to us, you understand, to prompt us, glory to God, to keep us and to protect us from danger, from making bad decisions, uh, glory to God. Many of us are in situation because we ignored the prompting of our conscience. We ignored it. We silenced it. We blotted it out. We didn't want to hear from our conscience, uh, glory to God. And we override our conscience and we're in situations today. Where we're crying out and asking God to deliver us. Stop ignoring your conscience. Make sure you keep it clear. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Think of your conscience as a God-given filter that helps you keep your heart pure. As we are instructed to guard our hearts with all diligence, your conscience, again, is like a filter given to you by God that will keep our hearts pure which is when will allow us to examine our motives in everything we do, in all our situations, in every given situation, uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Because your conscience will always also prompt you to let you know that you've hurt someone, that you did something wrong, uh, glory to God that you hurt someone's feelings or you, you know, um, you were offensive, you caused an offense to someone, your conscience, our glory to God, will, will instruct you to ask for forgiveness from that person. Glory to God. So I want to encourage us this morning. And you know, I, it, when I look at this, right, it brings me to understand that really what it means when it says some people's conscience is snared. Yes, some people, they have a conscience, but it's become so callous that they do things without remorse. They, they don't have a conscience, you know, to know what they did was wrong. And I bring the analogy, you understand, it's like in, in, in relationship, a husband and a wife, you understand, for example, they have a savings together, uh, glory to God, and one would go in and, 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 and just wipe out the other one's ac account, having no conscience to know that, listen, that person's going to need money for food or need money for things. They just thought about themselves. When your conscience becomes callous, you don't think about anybody but yourself. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. You think about you. You have no remorse. You don't see that you're hurting anybody. Because it becomes so callous. That you can't even recognize the promptings. I want to encourage us this morning. Don't ignore the promptings of your conscience. Keep your conscience clear. As the NLT says, I always try to maintain a clear conscience before God and all people. The new, um, new King James Version says, it's being so. I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense. I'm striving to have a conscience without offense towards God and men. Gone are the days when we ignore the prompting of our conscience. Just, just give me one second.
I hope you bless the name of the Lord. Sorry about that. Uh, glory to God. Uh, yes. Yeah, so again, as I said, you know, let us not ignore, uh, glory to God, the prompting of our conscience this morning. Glory to God, because it's a built in, it's for our benefits. And I would say that's also like ignoring, you understand, the prompting of the Holy Spirit, overriding his decision. You understand? Not taking uh, instructions, glory to God. And, you know, if we say that we're children of the Most High God and we're led by the Spirit of the Lord, uh, glory to God, that means we don't ignore the prompting of the Holy Spirit. You know, have you ever been, uh, and this always happens to me, you know, especially in driving, you know, and yet you, and I believe that this is the prompting of your conscience, the Holy Spirit speaking to you, uh, glory to God, and saying, don't go on the highway, just go around. Have it ever happened to you? And you jump on the highway, because guess what? You just think, and sometimes people think, oh, you know, it's my mind. It's not your mind. It's your conscience. It's the Spirit of the Lord prompting you. Don't do that show you the red flag, prompt you, this is not good for you. And sometimes it will, people will listen and will hear it, but then will question. You understand? Is that really God speaking to me? You know? Or is it just my mind? It's just my mind telling me not to go that route. It's just my mind telling me, uh, you know what, that not to do that. No, it's not your mind. It's your conscience prompting you. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore your conscience. Uh, glory to God. Make sure it's clear of offense. Glory to God. Make sure that you're staying away from anything that will cause it to become callous. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Don't try to silence it. Be blessed in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Because it's built in to protect us and to keep us and to prompt us of harm and danger. So I pray this morning that you'll be encouraged by those words. It can cost you, listening to your conscience can cost you uh, to become victorious. Yes, can keep you from hurt, uh, glory to God, can keep you from the next bad decision that you're about to make. We bless the name of the Lord and we give him thanks today. We thank him today. And we ask him to help us to maintain a conscience without offense towards God and towards people. If you need to apply the blood of Jesus to your conscience, I heard in prayer one time somebody praying that and it never left me. I heard them say, you know, I applied the blood of Jesus to my conscience. Glory to God, yes. You know, so that means nothing. I don't want it to be calloused. Uh, glory to God. I want it to be free towards God and towards all people. The Lord bless you this morning as we play a little bit of this as we go out this morning. <laughs> He's worthy this morning to be praised. Uh, yes. I thank him this morning for the cross. Uh, yes. I thank him this morning uh, for the price he paid this morning. Uh, yes. In love he came this morning. Thanks this morning. Thank you for Ah, uh, yes. We bless his name this morning. Ah, uh, we thank him this morning, yes. Now all I know, no forgiveness and Ah, uh, we bless the Lord this morning, hallelujah. Is the Lamb this morning. Oh, we bless the Lord this morning. Seated on the ah uh, yes, he's seated this morning. Ah uh, yes, we crown him now with many crowns this morning. 
He reigns victorious this morning. We lift it up, Almighty God, this morning. I am lifted up. Ah, uh, yes, Jesus. He is the Son of God this morning. Worthy is the Lamb this morning. Indeed, he is worthy to be praised, he's worthy to be exalted, and he's worthy to be glorified this morning. I trust that you are blessed this morning. Uh, glory to God, yes. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us this morning. Uh, yes, strive, uh, glory to God, to maintain a clear conscience uh, towards God and all people. Uh, do not ignore its prompting, uh, glory to God. It's, it's a built-in mechanism uh, that God has given us, uh, glory to God, yes, to prompt us in regards to danger, uh, glory to God, and harm. Uh, we bless him, the Lord. I just want to thank you for joining us. It's the end of the week for us. Glory to God. Here comes the end of another week of our devotion. Uh, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so. Uh, glory to God. There are some videos that's there that you might have missed that you want to catch up with. Uh, glory to God. You can go ahead and do that. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Whenever we load a video, you will be able to um, receive it. Uh, you can do so by typing in Real Talks. Uh, no, Real Talk, no, Real Talk Vivian. Uh, glory to God, that's Real Talk, V-I-V-I-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. uh, glory to God, look for the logo. Uh, glory to God, and just subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, we bless them in the Lord. So we want to thank our YouTube viewers, uh, those of you who follow us on YouTube. We also want to thank uh, those of you on Instagram as well. We just thank you, uh, glory to God, and we trust that you're blessed, um, yes, by the word. Uh, glory to God, we have made up our minds here in Real Talk to always have bread in the house. Uh, glory to God, yes, when you're strolling through, uh, you can stop by and there'll be something for you to feast at, at the Lord's table, uh, something to encourage you and not to let you feel condemned. Uh, glory to God, yes, not to let you feel less of uh, a person. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord, yes, that the truth of the word uh, bring deliverance to you, let the truth of God's word strengthen you, and let the truth of God's word encourage you. Uh, glory to God, we encourage you to read the word for yourself as well. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. We encourage you to search the scriptures and to study it. Uh, glory to God, yes, to live by its teaching. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. As we're instructed in scripture that men ought not to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, I pray that you're not just a reader of the word, but you're also a doer of the word, uh, that you're applying the word of God to every area of your life. We bless the name of the Lord, glory to God, that your light will never go dim. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord, that you'll be able, uh, glory to God, to stand and to withstand, uh, glory to God, when the enemy comes up against you. Because you know, he did to Jesus, and all Jesus did was use the word, uh, glory to God. That's why it's so important that we have the word uh, in us, and we're able to pull out and use it when needs be. Is that all right? So again, we encourage you to do that. Uh, glory to God. So again, wherever you are around the world, on behalf of Minister Michelle, myself, the entire Real Talk community, uh, glory to God, we just thank you for joining us this week. Uh, we trust that you were blessed uh, again, as I said, uh, glory to God, and we appreciate you, uh, glory to God. Uh, before I go, I just want to plug this in as I will be for the next couple of weeks. As you know, it is the month of October, and those of you who follow us, you know, yes, we're in another winter season. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord, our, our Christmas initiative. Uh, out of the cold, I'm going to call it uh, this year. Uh, yes, 2022, 2023, out of the cold. Uh, yes, program here. Uh, we're asking you, uh, please, to help us. Uh, go to God, get some hats and gloves and scarves and blankets. Uh, God, uh, to the homeless, uh, those of them who are sheltered. Uh, you can do so by purchasing these items. Uh, yes, give us a quick message. We'll come and collect them from you. Uh, glory to God. So we need some hats, we need scarves, we need socks, we need blankets. Uh, those are the items that I'm asking for this year. 
Uh, glory to God. So that's socks, scarves, hats, and blankets. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Yeah, so those are the items that I really need. Uh, glory to God. Uh, yes. To make this year a success. So please, I'm asking you, uh, glory to help us do that. We thank you for doing in the past. Uh, glory to God. It's a yearly thing that we do. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. And if you are not doing anything on Christmas morning, early morning, join us as we go out and distribute. Uh, glory to God. Yes. To those who are less fortunate. Uh, yes, yeah, some of us have so many hats, some of us have so many blankets, some of us have so many scarves, uh, glory to God, yes, but you could also go and purchase uh, and help us to help someone, all right, you might not be able to come out to do it, so help us to do it for you, uh, glory to God, and for those of you who say, you know, Vivian, I don't have the time to go out, but you know what, you want to send your, your contribution, you could do so at e-transfer, uh, glory to God, at realtalk0911 at gmail.com. That's realtalk0911 at gmail.com. When you do your e-transfer, just send us a little message, uh, glory to God, so we know who's coming from, and we'll go out and we'll purchase the items for you. Uh, we bless the name of those. So you can do that well. For those of you who are international, and you're saying, you know what, I'm not in Canada, but I don't mind contributing. I will be posting our PayPal. I just keep on, I can't remember it on the top of my head. Uh, post our PayPal uh, information and you can send your contribution that way. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God in any amount. We're not asking you for 100. We're not asking for 50. We're just asking you in any amount what you want so you feel led. Uh, glory to God to send to us. Uh, glory to God. We will make it happen. Again, I want to thank those of you who contributed to our Back to School initiative uh, in Jamaica. The items were shipped off, they were received. Uh, Gloria God, and they'll be having like a Christmas treat uh, distribution. Uh, we will be posting those videos as soon as we get them so you can see, uh, Gloria to God, yes, what took place with that which you contributed. Uh, so we want to thank you for that. All right. So again, thank you so much for contributing. Thank you for staying connected and thank you for your prayers. We bless the name of the Lord wherever you are around the world remember jesus is lord to the glory of god remember you're the heart of a champion the mind of an overcomer the spirit of more than a conqueror because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world remember you are a lit candle go out and light your world uh, go out and love on somebody today forgive somebody today uh, glory and remember strive to maintain a clear conscience today uh, towards god and towards all people, uh, glory to God. Is that all right? So be blessed. It was a privilege serving you today with clean hands and a pure heart and a right motive. Uh, glory to God. Have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. God's grace of the Lord carries. We'll be back here on Sunday at 7.30. Uh, glory to God as it's word day. Glory to God. And there is a word uh, that awaits you. So trust that you'll join us if you're not, if you're able to. All right, if not, go. Well, you can go ahead and watch us on YouTube or you can watch on the replay. The Lord bless you.